Stunt Collector here, and uh, we are going to be unboxing the PS5 and here I have the uh, disc version of it. So here's the front with the PS5 and the DualSense controller and the PS5 logo. Here's the side here, here's the back, and here's all those. If you guys want to pause and read that, you can. And then, yeah, there's that. And then here's the bottom up there. On top, it comes with this little uh, handle here for you, and in the bottom corner it says that it has 825 gigabytes in it. I wish I had more. And yeah, let's crack it open. All right. So it has these flaps in the top here, just like that. It just comes in this big white box here and same deal open the flaps same deal on the top open that up shows you how to open the box all right and then starting off first pull this out so we got this little box here so we'll go through that first so these up and first we get the dual sense controller I'll show you what my brother thinks of it here in a second and my sister. I like it a lot. It looks really cool. It feels nice. And then here's the PS4 controller with that. I like the dual sense a lot more. It feels a lot more comfortable, I think. It's gonna be a little getting used to, but it feels like a lot more like a Xbox controller. And yeah. So I'll go over the actual details of it after I go through all what's all in the box here. So yeah, and then we get this uh, power cord in the figure eight here, wrapped up in the, the bendy wire here. And then we get the uh, dual sense charger cord here. I think it's a USB three, type three. So there's that. And then we get the in instruction manuals here which I won't use because now I use them. Um, and then this other part here, we get this little uh, display stand. Once I open it here, uh, it's like foam, it's kind of hard to, there we go. So yeah, we get this little display stand here. This is how you're supposed to hold it up for it to stand up. And then if you want to have them laying uh, upward just have it with that and I'll go over how to put that up after I go through all the boxes like the dual sense and then you get this HDMI cable here so there's that but besides that that's all in this little box here and then the main course is this guy so here's the PS5 Unwrap that. This thing is heavy, but it's massive too. I'll go over the size comparison with how I look compared to it. But yeah, here's the PS5 here. And then, yeah, you get the disc version, you got all the buttons, the USB ports here, one USB port, and then the charging port here. And then back, you get the HDMI ports and two other USB ports here and the ethernet port and power cable port. And you get that little engraved PlayStation symbol there. And uh, if I remember correctly, there is some little detailing in like the plates here where it has like all these PlayStation symbols. It's kind of hard to see through it, but uh, yeah, I like it a lot. And then uh, here I have the uh, HD camera with it. I just got that so that way I'm able to do my 
videos a lot better. So I'll do this with this video too. So yeah, here's the front for you. Here's the side, not much there. Here's the back. If you guys want to pause and read that, you can. Other side, same deal, not much on the top. And then here's the bottom with the US UCPI, I believe. And then yeah, let's crack it open here. So let me grab my scissors. Just like that. I'll show you how to hook this up like the other stuff here. So coming out of it. So first you get this instructions manual and stuff like that, but it says that you come, all the stuff that you need is in this package. So first it's really just the camera here. So yeah, there's that. I like the camera a lot. It's really cool. And you get this USB port for it. You just plug it into the back of it and it's supposed to have better tracking than the uh, PlayStation 4 one. And if you want to do, use your PSVR, you have to email or request for a PS4 camera adapter to use it for the PS5. But here's the HD camera for the PS5. And yeah, you just it's able to bend. So if you guys want to put it on top of the TV, you can do that, which I like about it. Instead of having two pieces, mine falls off, it falls down pretty easily. So I feel like this one's way better. But yeah. So here's the DualSense controller right here. So I'll go, uh, I'm gonna hook up the PS5 real quick for it to turn on, but yeah. So first off you get this clear plastic here and you have the little white plastic parts in the bottom here. So it gives it that little cool detailing. Same deal with these buttons. If they feel really good. I like the feeling with these. I feel like they're a little small for me though. I like the, uh, but if you guys want to use like your uh, control freaks. So I use my PS4 control freak and it actually works pretty well as long as you're not very forceful with it. Actually, it's staying on pretty well if I, uh, well, it falls apart. So yeah, you won't be able to use the control freak real well with that. But besides that, I like the feel of it. I like the, oh, there we go. There's the light effect, but I just need to connect it to my PS4. So it lights up blue. And if I remember, it turns orange when you're charging it. And then here's the USB port for it. Here's the trigger buttons, which work real well. Uh, here's the back for you. You get that Sony symbol there. Get that little D-pad there. And then, yeah, it's really cool. All right, so here is the part where we set it up. So here's the little display stand here. So I think how you want to set it up for it to stand up is set up like that and then just place this on top of it just like this it should be able to stand up yeah looks like it hopefully unless there's some sort of yeah i think no hmm let me think here Maybe, maybe I gotta flip it around. I think that's what it's supposed to do. Is it? I don't know. I don't like the fact that it's tilting towards you if you set it up like that. I don't know if it is supposed to do that or not. Actually, I think it's supposed to be like this. So flip it around like that. This is supposed to hold it. And then that bottom piece is supposed to hold it up, I think. Whoa. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look at instructions for this part. <laughs> All right, so I figured it out. So apparently the part that I forgot to do was twist this around like this and then put it down like that. And then from doing that, this will like go up and down like that. And then you'll place it on top of it. Just like this. So be like that and boom it's balanced so that's better i like that a lot more and then starting off with plugging it in um let's first start off with the power cord here so let me unbundle the twisty ties here yeah we've seen this before just plug it in down here with these two circles and then just plug it into an outlet i will do that here in a bit um, and then you get the HDMI cords here. Pretty long 
extension cord here. It's pretty much, I want to say about half the height of me, so pretty close to maybe four feet long. So yeah, you just plug this in right here, just like that. And if you want to use your VR uh, adapter, you'd use that instead. So yeah, and then there's that. And then we got the HD camera here. So we- Fine, step on mine. Oh, okay, so I'm okay. And then you just plug it in right here. This is the USB, so you just plug it in. And then back here, there's the cord for you. So yeah, and then you just plug in all the rest. Nope. There we go, gotcha. All right, I think that's plugged in. Move that out of the way here. I think I gotta change that input here. There we go. Ooh. All right. Start connecting the remote. Oh, here. Here. Like that. Not sure if you guys can see me. Bam. Bam. All connected. Okay. Alright. English. Uh, no, I don't need a screen reader. There's that. Alright, we'll connect to my Wi-Fi here. We'll get rid of this part. And then we sit and wait until... There we go. Uh, the circle should fill the screen without block borders. Wait, black borders. If the circles are cut off or you see black borders, press up. Oh. All right, so it should be like that. All right, insert a disc. I'm gonna plug in my um, Spider-Man Miles Morales one in real quick. So, if you guys couldn't tell, so since it's facing downward like that, it kinda looks weird. So instead of putting it in like this now, like the uh, disc facing outward like that, it has to be going inward actually, like that. So it's kind of weird. That's the only problem that I have with the PS5, to be honest. And yeah. So yeah, there's that. Um. We'll just go with that for right now. And then agree, confirm. Uh, update system software, use network, most, yeah. All right, and then we'll upgrade, I meant update our system. And it should take a bit. So we'll wait here. All right, and it should be about done here in a second. Quite literally. All right, restarting your PS5, so it's gonna start back up here in a second. If it disk inserts, don't eject it, okay. The PS5 is huge though. Look how, how, look how big it is compared to my PS4. It's a regular PS4. And there's the PS5. The thing is massive. 
All right, I'm turning on the PS5 now with my remote, hopefully. All right, powered up here. And controller's lighting up. Please wait. It's orange there, which means it's charging. Bye. There we go. Installing the update files. So it's going to take a bit here. So it's telling me to turn on the remote here. So let's do that. All right, and new version of the wireless controller device software is available. Your console won't need to restart for this update. Okay, good. So it's gonna take a few seconds apparently, it looks like. I love this startup though, it looks really cool. It's making all, and the PS5 is making a lot of noise though. You can kind of hear it, I think. All right, and so there's two ways to log in. You can use your app, PSN app on your phone or and then scan that code right there, or you can just sign in regularly, which I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna not do show you guys that. And then it goes over to privacy settings, so I'm gonna do social and open, team player, I'm just gonna go with friend focused, I guess. Restricts for strangers, anything for my crew. Effortless multiplayer, but I limit who knows my real identity. We'll do that. Um, team player allies, yeah. All right, and just apply there. Uh, data collection, confirm and continue, I guess. I uh, secure your account. Text message, we'll go text message. And then I'm gonna plug in my phone number here. All right, and here is my thing here. So we'll choose which games we wanna, I guess, download for right now. So we'll go with the Spider-Man PS4 Remastered, which I do have hooked up right now uh, to my account. I already redeemed it. Uh, download media apps. We'll definitely do that. YouTube and Netflix. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't need that. Uh, I don't need that. And we do need that. Okay. Download. Uh, quickly finish configuring your PS5, bringing over your users, games, and save data from your PS4 if you want to do this later. All right, let's just continue. Uh, make sure the PS4 is turned on and both PS4 and PS5 are connected to the same network to complete the transfer faster. Use wired LAN, okay. So let's turn on my PS4 real quick. Let's see if that does anything. So right now it's searching for a PS4. Let's make sure it's on the same network here. So let's see here. We'll switch there real quick. I think they're on the same network. All right, it's turned on. Let's see if it did anything on the other side. Cannot find PS4, so let's try that again here. Continue. Searching for PS4. All right, please wait. It looks like I might have found it. PS4 found within the time limit. Press the power button on your PS4 for one second until it beeps. All right, let's do that. All right, beeped. All right, we 
did that. So it should be. All right, so now I'm just downloading the games that I want. So right now I have Fortnite, I have Cold War, Minecraft. I already have uh, Miles Morales up. So there's that one. I have Modern Warfare going down now. Avengers, Spider-Man Remastered. I'm gonna get Squadrons if I have enough space here in a bit. Um, what else do I have? A lot of these have for discs. I think the other ones that I have. So wait. Let's see what we got. So we got Fortnite, Spider-Man Miles Morales. We got the Astros Playroom, and then Spider-Man. And spare me Miles Morales, which I will do in a video on a bit. PlayStation Plus. So we got the PlayStation collection here. Let's check a, take, a, take a look at those. So we got Fallout. Got Mortal Kombat X. God of War, which I still need to play. So let's add that to the library. Download. I don't think I'll have enough space for all of it, though. And we got... This dude, we got Battlefield 1. Hopefully, I'll have enough space for all of it. We got Black Ops 3. Nice. I did have this for Xbox One. I want to get both. Let's get multiplayer first. That's the one I play the most. I'm definitely not going to have enough space for all of this. But I'm just going to get into the library so that way I have it anyways. Details, space on the console storage. Yep, I got it for you. I have more space. Yep. So I wasn't able to get all of it. We got Until Dawn. We got Second Sun and Famous. Uh, we got Arkham Knight, which I do already have, though. Um, we already got Resident Evil. I did a video on that already. Um, I forgot what was the other one. Oh, yeah, Days Gone, which I didn't want. I did want, but I'm already out of space. PlayStation Now, I don't have that at the moment. So right now, this is what it looks like, I believe. So let's check, take a look at my games right now. So we got Avengers up right now. We got Cold War downloading after um, get playable version. Isn't it playable? Oh, get playable version, obviously. There we go. And then we could cancel the PS4 version of it, but we got this one downloading right now for sure. Uh, where did Miles Morales go? I just had Miles Morales. Where did he go? All right, so the, this I have downloading. Have this downloading next. Downloading, downloading. Not right now. I do have this one. Is I do have, but I don't know why it says it's locked. I already have you in my disk drive. Why are you? What? I'm so confused. I have it in my disk. All right. So yeah. Um. And so I'm not really gonna worry about transferring data. Besides, because most of it's for um like online gaming. I mean, like, campaign and stuff like that. So I'll probably have to do it with that. That, um, this one's online, so that wouldn't really matter that much. I'm going to redo this anyways. And Miles Morales, obviously, can't do that. Um, what other ones? Modern Warfare, I'll probably won't have to. Um, and, yeah. Hopefully, they'll come out with that disk drive. I mean, the extra storage piece soon so yeah i'm gonna yeah i can't i can't do that right now but downloaded copies let's just start download slash copy first for that one right now it's calculating remaining time so it's gonna take a little bit for that so 35 30 40 minutes so yeah that'll take a little bit all right, so right now it's like three o'clock in the morning, so I was able to play um, Spider-Man Miles Morales and a little bit of um, 
was the Astro uh, Playroom, and it showed me how to use the remote and how it, what it does. Sorry, no. my TV is a little loud right now. Um, I just wish they came with a extended hard drive like Xbox did um, right off the bat at launch, but they didn't, so I'm running out of space pretty quick. I was running out of space to record me playing Miles Morales. Um, right now it's down, I mean, uploading on the YouTube for Unlisted, and then I'm gonna download it and then edit it and stuff, so. Um, but yeah. So all I wish they did uh, was came out with the extended hard drive. That would have been nice. And then also, I feel like it's a little weird with the uh, whole uh, thing. Yeah, instead of having the disc facing outward, like that, where you'd think it would be, it's actually facing inward. Otherwise, you're gonna mess up the disc, so. Uh, but yeah, besides that, that, those are my two only complaints for right now, at least. It's taking a little bit for my um, transfer data to go through, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start fresh besides like the Call of Duty games and stuff like that. Um, and uh, maybe Beat Saber and stuff. So, but most of that stuff was like online saved and stuff like that. So it's not gonna bother me a whole bunch with me starting over on Spare Man. I'm gonna have to play the three remastered version anyways. So it's not gonna bother me a whole bunch. Um, but yeah, the only problems to have with that is that confusion with the disc thing, and I wish they came with the larger storage space. But besides that, that's all I've got for right now, at least. So good job, Sony. I love the PS5, but please add in more storage. <laughs> and besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video unboxing of the PS5 and how to set it up and stuff like that. Um, I don't have the media remote, I don't have the Pulse headsets, mainly because I have the Turtle Beach headset, so most it's mostly going to be me using the Turtle Beach headset anyways. But yeah, that's all I've got. But once they come out with a hard drive, I'm definitely going to get one, and then also how to get that set up, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's all I've got.